Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Every single time I see those numbers go up, it really warms my heart because I just see that each of those numbers represents a person who is inspired by what I have to say and is empowered and I really appreciate each of you guys who have subscribed to me. This topic is mental scars. The main question that I want to focus in on, and I want you guys to comment as well below, what are your mental scars and how did you overcome them? So this is what I defined as a mental scar, and that is anything that are like thoughts or ideas that have hurt you or made you believe that something wasn't true. When I was younger, my grandparents and a lot of my family members would always comment on my skin and they would just say things like oh you won't get a boyfriend if you have bad skin you're not beautiful if you have bad skin you need to clear your skin or else you're not gonna get X Y or Z and people aren't going to like you and I think that really planted a seed in my head that in order for me to be valuable I needed to look a certain way and be a certain way. I remember I would look into the mirror and just think like, I, I hate you. I hate how you look. I hate it. There's just so much hate towards my face and bitterness towards people who treated me less than, than what I should have been treated as. And It just made me feel very insecure. It also made me want to desire her to be perfect and to compensate for my acne and to compensate for my looks or my lack of looks, I guess. <laughs> I studied a lot. I was very smart in school. I wanted people to notice me. I wanted people to see me and think more than what they saw. So I studied, I worked really hard, I would always get straight A's. I was a straight A student, except for, this is really embarrassing, I'm gonna tell you guys, I got a B in gym because I can't swim. That was the only unit I got a B in, but seriously, it's just cause I can't swim. There are some people who just walk into the room and they're just so loud, outgoing, and they're just very approachable, likable, and things like that. And for me, I just never felt that way. That was like a persona that I wanted to embody. I wanted to be that chill person, that really cool person, that person who just can talk with everyone and is just so outgoing and charismatic. I wanted to embody that character, but that person wasn't me. I am a person who's very shy, very timid. I don't really like speaking my mind all the time. I'm a very observant person and when I need to speak out on something then I will definitely do it. I have no problem doing that but I'm very patient. So now that I talked about some of my mental scars I want to talk about how I overcame them and please share how you have overcome your scars. I believed in the lie that I was never good enough. I had to accept the fact that I was not going to have that clear porcelain skin that I've always dreamed of and I've always wanted. I needed to accept that and love that about myself. I needed to accept that I had scars on my face and they were never going to go away unless I had surgery or something very invasive like that. And when you accept those things about yourself, then you can move forward and really love the new version of yourself that you're willing to become. I want you guys to know that the lies that you hear in your head, like you are worthless, you will never be good enough, you're not perfect, and you don't mean anything. These are all lies that are in your head. Someone told me this, and I think it's a very good way to have some perspective on things you guys can think differently that's totally okay but i just want to enlighten you guys when you see your name written in the sand you don't think that random particles and molecules just kind of put my name in the sand it just kind of happened it all worked together perfectly 
so that my name could be written in the sand. You don't just think that that was random or by chance. You think there's a reason for why my name was written there. There's a purpose and I want to know what that reason and purpose is.